This is a common template used for identifying your problem hypothesis. When a particular issue exists, you believe, or we believe, if you're a team, that your particular target customer has a particular problem that they want to solve. So who are they? What do they want to solve? Why are they dissatisfied with today's solutions, if there are any solutions today? Add to that, if you have a because of, it could be it's a problem because of this and potentially something else. So going back to the travel example, it could be we believe that a traveler between the ages of 30 and 35 doesn't have time to book travel. They're dissatisfied with existing websites and talking to their friends about where to go when they travel. And the current solutions today still leave them unhappy with where they ended up. Writing a problem hypothesis is not a one-step process. It's just the beginning. Like everything we do with discovery, you start somewhere. Sometimes that can be difficult because you want to move forward and quickly, but you have to understand that you're going to iterate a lot. So identifying the problem, identifying the persona is an ongoing process as you continue to test different theories and hypotheses. Discovery processes are nonlinear, and that can be tricky. You're going to do a certain amount of tests. You're going to have some hypotheses you believe in. And as you go and do those tests, those hypotheses could prove to be wrong. Or you may identify something completely different and unexpected that could take you into a new direction. For some projects, that could involve simple, light pivots. And for others, it could be a whole new product. The point is, don't assume there's an A, B, C, we're done process. It can take multiple iterations before you really end up at the right solution.